Hey guys, we're going to learn how to clean a Canon 1755 USM today. Um, this is a very popular lens and uh, has become increasingly popular with the DSLR market, especially for video, but it does have one fault. Um, it tends to get a little bit of dust down inside of it, uh, actually early. I've had this one for about a month and it's already got quite a bit of dust inside. Uh, around the outside there's a little bit of a penetration where the, the lens pumps in and out and you can get some dust down in that area and then there's a little ring on the front which allows quite a bit of dust to come in the front as well. So I'm going to show you how to take this apart and blow it out and obviously you do this at your own risk because uh, I don't want you to screw up a thousand dollar lens because that's about how much these cost. So be careful and uh, follow along. You'll need a couple things. A glove, some lens cloths, one of those torpedo blowers, you can get those just about anywhere online. A razor knife, and I prefer a smaller one than this. Some masking tape, I have it already pre-cut and ready to go. Maybe another blower with a brush for the dust. A screwdriver set with various heads and tips. Now you want to put the back cover on this lens because we're not addressing that. So first thing you want to do is pop off the front. Now there's this little ring and it's actually just slightly glued on in the front. A lot of people use toothpicks, a lot of people use skewer sticks. I have a screwdriver and none of the other ones so I'm going to be really careful. I would recommend using something maybe made of wood so you don't scratch the lens but I'm pretty confident with my skills so I'm going to do it this way. So I pry up the edge and you just kind of slowly work it. Don't get too aggressive and then you kind of pry your finger underneath the shaft of the screwdriver and then just kind of rotate it and work it around. This will allow the glue to release and there will be some spots that are stickier than others and once you get to those locations just take your time and slowly pry. You don't want to break the ring. And it will eventually just come off. And then once it's off, make sure you lay it down non-sticky side face down. Now once you have this off you'll see three screws. And I'm pointing to one, two, and then there's a third one up here. Those screws have slots and grooves and those grooves allow that lens to be turned and adjusted. So then you take a piece of tape so you don't lose that position. And what that tape does is it will show you the lens's location relative to the outside of the cylinder of this lens. So when I put it back together I make sure that it goes back exactly how I took it out and that's, that's crucial. And once you get those two separated then you can put the tip in your screwdriver and start to remove the screws. Now one thing I will say about these screws, they are held in with Loctite. Loctite is kind of like, it's not a glue, but it's kind of a, a, a solution that will keep the screws from working loose over time. Um, they are a little bit tight, you want to bear down pretty well on them so you don't strip it out. Once you have two of the screws loose, you can just kind of pour the screws out. They're real tiny and hard to work with, and I have big fingers. And once you get the third screw out, you can actually dump that front lens element into your hand carefully place it on a cloth and then you get out your blower and you blow out the dust and really that's it. Clean it to your satisfaction, put the lens element back in place, reinsert the three screws and put the ring back on. I didn't videotape the reassembly because it was just basically just like taking it apart in reverse. So hopefully that helps and you guys will be able to clean up your lens because some of that dirt was actually getting into a couple of my photographs and um, it was annoying. So it was good to be able to clean that out. Hope that helps you guys. Good luck.